me tell you how important, uh, how important Planned Parenthood is to me. It's just one of the most important things in my life. Uh, you know, I didn't have my parents in 17 and 18. I have my mom. And Planned Parenthood taught me everything. Yeah. And that's real talk. And I'm pretty sure that you guys have done that for a lot of girls. So right. if you listen to the people on the right, they think that Planned Parenthood is an abortion factory. Like, you know, that's like back-to-back -back abortions with a side of fries. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? What I want to get clear here today is what are the actual services of Planned Parenthood? Well, thank you, Leslie, for asking me that question, and thank you for sharing the, how important Planned Parenthood has been for you, because that has been the story for so many people in their lives. Planned Parenthood really represents reproductive freedom. We sell freedom and agency. Mm -hmm. It means that when you walk into a Planned Parenthood health center, you may be coming for birth control, STI testing, cervical cancer screenings, breast cancer screenings, gender affirming care. And yes, we proudly provide abortion because that is also part of health care. Mm -hmm. That is the work that we do. People realize that men can go to Planned Parenthood for services too, and they 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 should. I think when men hear Parenthood, they just start running. <laughs> Tell me the services that you provide for people with penises. <laughs> Yes, men are like one of the fastest growing demographics at Planned Parenthood. They come for the same set of services. They come to get access to condoms. They come to get access to STI screenings. They come for vasectomies increasingly after the Dobbs decision, right? They are coming in. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I mean, maybe we need to market it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we need to have a better market. Like, we treat the meat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood presents the dick fixers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we do <So>. that too. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, like, do you think men are embarrassed about what they need to come in for? Because let me tell you something, men. It's important that men get checked out. Their sexual health affects their wives, partners, and girlfriends, too. Roe versus Wade was overturned six months, seven months ago, and it's important for men to come in also. Tell them, please, how important it yeah, is. Yeah, it is so critical. I mean, first of all, stigma around sexual reproductive health care affects everybody, so it does affect men. They may not talk about it, but they are certainly coming to Planned Parenthood to get it checked out, right? I mean, you know, they they, they see something, they need to say something. They need to come in and make sure exactly. that they're getting care. Something. But they are being affected. But they are really being affected by um, this Dobbs decision, right? Because, you know, I, I mean, on the other side of every single abortion, every choice that someone makes to, to not continue a pregnancy, we are also seeing the impact on miscarriage management. We're also seeing the impact on their wives, on their daughters, on their sisters, on their workers, on their coworkers. And so men, I, I would say, actually are showing up in a much stronger way. There's a lot of them out there freestyling because they still don't know how our bodies work, how our periods work, how our pregnancies work. But there are a lot of men who are showing up, and I think it is really important important to give them the, the energy to, to continue to do that. Yes. Yes. How, how, do we, how, do we, how do we combat that? Like, the, the, this thing about our rights and everything. How we keep... How we keep these motherfuckers out of pussy? Well... <laughs> well... I mean, first of all, I mean, we have to be clear that the Supreme Court made a decision, but the Supreme Court doesn't get the last word. We do. Yeah. Yes! And we are going to need to fight state by state because they are coming for birth control. They are coming for IVF. They are coming. They're trying to... They're literally trying to bankrupt, bankrupt us in Texas, right? Planned Parenthood in Texas. They are trying everything they can to stop people from getting access to care. But what we have in, you know, people like you who are just, you know, passionate about freedom, passionate about justice, um, is an opportunity to really be a leader and a volunteer. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Now, you know you shouldn't give me no damn bullhorn. I'm gonna be out there on the streets going, hey, women, hey, women, are you leaking? Come to Planned Parenthood so we can do some peeking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, guys, come in quick so we can fix your dick. You know what I'm 